In today's video, I kind of want to give you guys a life update. So I'm not going to be doing any dog training today, but I wanted to update you guys about my life and how I've been dealing with um, MS over these last eight months. Um, clearly, I've been inconsistent with posting to YouTube, and that has been largely due to the after effects of my relapse back in March. Um, I'll I'll tag that video in whatever corner down in the description, all of that, so that you guys can watch that. And even as I think back on that video, I think of how rough things were. And I mean, the, the past eight months, the biggest thing that I have been thinking is three years ago, I was running 5Ks and now I can't even walk without a cane. And I could not get past that. It was so difficult to wrap my mind around this huge change, especially as I'm only 24. And it's very rare and it's always very, very sad to see someone that young walking with a cane. And so throughout the months, I've really been struggling. Are you okay? Why are you looking? I haven't given you nothing. <laughs> Hopefully the microphone hasn't caught that, but, um, sorry. Um, anyways, over the past month, I've had quite a few life changes. My husband and I got married during COVID, so we were not able to have our, um, our ceremony, our big celebration to celebrate the two of us coming together. And so for our five year anniversary, I know it's already been five years. We decided that we were gonna have our celebration. So in September, we had our, um, I had my bachelorette party. We went away for a weekend. And then we had our wedding the next week. We had family in town and it was, it was a lot. My, my body was really struggling and it was struggling to keep up. No matter how many breaks I took, I tried my best to keep everything to the minimum, but it was, it was just a very busy month. And so I had recently changed doctors and I, I brought everything, um, everything that I was experiencing to them. And they suggested, um, doing another five days of uh, IV steroids. Um, it was a really high dose and thankfully I was not ho hospitalized for that but it was still kind of, I mean, if anyone else has been on steroids or prednisone, um, you know how much it sucks. So it, it, it was very difficult, but I'm so glad I went through with it and I did all five days. And since last, so I'm recording this on, um, on Thursday the 10th. I won't post this till tomorrow, um, but I have been walking without a cane since the 3rd, since Thursday, October 3rd. Isn't that a Mean Girl reference? Sorry. <laughs> Random train thought. Um, but anyways, yes, I've been walking without a cane since the 3rd. I have been able to take my dogs on super short walks, but walks nonetheless. Um, for these past eight months, it was, it was a struggle for me to be able to walk a quarter of a mile and I'm not at a mile yet. I probably could do, but I haven't tried it. Um, but I've been walking 20 minutes with one of my dogs almost every day. I have been able, I've been, had more energy. I've been sleeping less, which is phenomenal because I was sleeping 12 to 14, sometimes 16 hours a day um, the past eight months. And I was still constantly exhausted. I was put on medication for fatigue. I haven't taken that for, I think, two weeks. And I've been doing really, really well. And so I really wanted to post this to give you guys hope. Um, if you're struggling with an autoimmune disease or any, any type of physical ailment, really, there are things that you can do. Um, no matter how small it is, no matter if it, no matter how small, no matter how big, no matter how simple it may seem to you, whether it's for your health, for your dogs, or 
whatever it's for, it is a huge step for you. And you can do anything that you put your mind to, anything that you want to do, you can do. You can do it. And so I just wanted to give you guys this update that I feel so much better after doing these five days of steroids. And, um, you know, it's, I, I think last Friday was my last dose of steroids. And so I've gone through the withdrawals. I'm finally out of that. And I'm, I'm coming back to honestly my normal self, who I was back in January of this year. And I feel so good about it. And I'm so happy that I'm finally at this point because then I feel, I can give you guys more value and more help, more training. And I am so excited for that. I'm so excited for the future and everything for this channel. And so I really, really wanted to just kind of give you guys a quick update. I don't know how long I've been talking, but it doesn't feel super long. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all I had. I didn't even have to sit down for this video. I remember back in March, I was, I was, sitting down in this video because I couldn't stand for that long and I was slow to speak because coming up with words is hard and sometimes the brain fog is still there and the words I can't say but everything has just gotten so much better overall that I can't even complain about the little bit of brain fog I have, the little bit of tingling I still have. Sometimes I do need to take a nap throughout the day, but that's okay because I can do so much more now than I could even two weeks ago or six months ago. And so, yeah, I'm just, I'm really, really proud of myself. I'm very happy with, um, with everything that's happened. I'm so grateful for my doctors, my family, my friends, everyone who has supported me throughout this journey. Um, yeah, and I'm thankful for you guys for sticking around, sticking through it. I know this last eight months have been really rough and I have been super inconsistent with posting videos and everything, but I promise upgrades to my videos. Like I got a new mic, I got a better phone so that I can record better quality videos. I am going to be, within the next week or so, I'm going to be updating my basement so it doesn't look so dungeony down there when I record. Um, and so, yeah, there's exciting things coming, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to everything I can do with this channel and how I can help you with your dogs. So if you have any questions, suggestions for videos, or any struggles you're going through with your dogs, post them down below. If you also have MS and you have any questions or anything about my journey or everything I've been through, um, then drop those comments down below as well. Follow me on social media. Um, I am more than happy to reach out and continue talking about this. And I am definitely not going to stop sharing my MS journey. And I hope you guys are supportive and I guess excited to see my journey as well. I don't know how, to, how else to word that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for all your support. Bye guys.